Hi, I'm Sufi Nathan. And I'm Sydney Joy. We're here today with the self-defense concepts for March. And we're covering off how to defend ourselves against an attacker that has a dagger, a knife. Maybe a pen. Could be a pair of scissors. Yeah. And it's different from the previous month's self-defense because knives are scarier. <laughs> the way that we move to deal with this threat differs from the previous self-defense. And we're increasing the student's threshold for dealing with the intimidation factor as well as movement patterns and building confidence. And basically, you know, we're going from a weapon that doesn't have an or an object that doesn't have a sharp edge or a point, and we're basically increasing it to the uh, the fear factor, I would guess you would say, so that we're again improving the confidence levels of our students. We're working, as Jun said, on a completely different concept of how to deal with it. In the uh, solid weapon or the bat defense, we were bridging the technique because we can bridge because it doesn't matter. Against a knife, when we do this, we can't bridge because we can get cut or stabbed with whatever the object is. So we need to deal with this object in a completely different manner than we would the uh, bat from the previous month. So as you can see, we're increasing the intensity of what we're doing for the kids, improving their movement capabilities, their understanding of Kung Fu, their understanding of why they're doing certain things within our system, and we're building confident individuals as we do it.